Welcome to another beautiful day here at Mills Motors located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa. Today we're looking at the awesome 2016 Sierra SLE 1500 four-wheel drive crew cab with the all-terrain package shown here in the very nice crimson red tint coat. Under the hood it's rocking the Ecotec 3 5.3 liter direct injected V8 engine with the six-speed automatic transmission. Taking a look at the inside of the truck now, the upholstery is a mixture between cloth and leather. And down here are the controls for the 10-way power adjustable driver's seat, including lumbar support. On the inside of the driver's side door, there is quite a bit of storage. As well as up here, there is the child lock, window lock, powered windows, powered lock and unlock, and the powered mirrors, including power folding mirrors. Starting on the left hand side here is the trailer brake, four wheel drive selection and the exterior lights, wipers and indicators, all the cruise control buttons and on the back of the steering wheel there are these two buttons here that are for the favorites for the radio. So on the right hand side we have some hands free and bluetooth buttons and here are the buttons to help you navigate your way through that driver digital screen. And on the back of the right hand side of the steering wheel we have the volume controls for the radio. This vehicle is in demonstration mode. And as we take a look at the center touch screen here, the truck does come with AM, FM, and XM radios, as well as you can connect your phone to the truck. It does also come with OnStar navigation. So as I go up here to the rearview mirror, <clears throat> you can see right here on this blue button, if you click that blue button, you will be connected to OnStar and they can help you out with any situation that you are in, including pinpointing a destination for you here on this screen. There are also some settings, text message settings, and some OnStar settings to go through. And below that are the radio controls, which uh, has the volume here on the left and changing of the stations on the right. The radio button will switch between AM, FM, and XM radios. And the media button will switch between any USB imports, auxiliary imports, or any Bluetooth devices that are connected. Beneath that are the aircon controls, which does include front and rear defrost as well as dual climate control. So as you can see, I have the driver set to 16, passenger set to 17, which is quite nice for when the driver and passenger do have different temperature wants. It does also come with heated driver and passenger seats, which is great for those cooler months. And beneath all of that are a few cool buttons here. So starting to the left, this button does move the pedals towards and away from the driver. Traction control. This button here does turn on some lights to the exterior truck bed, parking assist, and hill descent assist. And below those buttons are a bunch of charging ports. So there are two USB ports, two auxiliary power outlets, and a power outlet. And in between the seats, there is a nice little bit of storage, two cup holders, and this nice armrest here. As well as that, there's this nice spot to place your phone. And if the phone is wireless charging capable and you place it there when the truck is running, it will begin to charge which is quite the convenient feature lifting it up now on the inside there is quite a lot of storage as well as two more usb ports and auxiliary import and on this side there is yet another aux oops <laughs> another auxiliary power outlet up top here we do have this button here that does power and operate the uh, power rear sliding window which is great for letting in some of that fresh air and just above that are the three garage door buttons which is nice and handy and now making our way over to the passenger side there is a top glove box which opens up and offers a little bit of storage and then there is the lower glove box which is a little bit bigger and offers some more room for some of those bigger items and on the passenger side door there is the powered lock and unlock powered windows have a look at those gorgeous 20 inch ultra bright machined aluminum wheels there as we make our way over to the rear of the vehicle. On the corner here, there is this nice corner assist step, which is quite handy for getting in and out of the truck bed. As well as that, there are the ultrasonic rear parking sensors, which are lined along this whole rear bumper here that do go hand in hand with the colored backup camera that does show up for you on the inside of the vehicle. On the center screen there, which is quite useful for when backing this vehicle up. The hitch is also located down below and the truck does come with the easy left and lower tailgate system which means I can just pull on the handle and let the tailgate open nice and slowly all on its own. Now back here there is quite a lot of room as well as some hooks lined along the left and right hand side 
which is great for if you do need to tie down any of those loose items. But if you do have any loose items rattling around back here, you do not need to worry about them scuffing up the paint or even doing minor body damage because there is this nice spray on box bed liner, which will keep everything nice and protected. And underneath the side here, there are some lights that do turn on by a flick of the button on the inside of the truck, which is great for lighting up this area for when you're in a darker space and you do want to try and grab something, this area will be nice and illuminated. And again, thanks to that easy lift and lower tailgate system, closing that tailgate is made simple and easy. Now taking a look at the rear passenger side door here on the inside, there is quite a bit of storage as well as the powered window control. As I step into the back seat here, there is some storage behind the passenger seat as well as some behind the driver's seat. Behind the middle console, there are two little storage areas as well as a handy auxiliary power outlet, which is great for charging some of the mobile devices. And as I turn around here, you can see that the second row seating does support three people, but when someone is not sitting in this middle seat right here, just pull on this tab and down folds a center folding armrest as well as two cup holders, which does allow for a little bit more of a relaxing ride. And as well as that, I know if you have three people back here, things can get a bit warm. So thanks to this power setting rear window, you can open that up and let in some of that fresh air and help cool everything down. What a gorgeous truck inside and out, folks. And it does not stop with the looks because it is also equipped with the safety and connectivity of OnStar, as well as having its very own 4G LTE Wi-Fi hotspot which does mean that you can connect your mobile devices to it whilst in the vehicle, which will help move time along very quickly when you are going on some of those longer rides. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the awesome 2016 Sierra SLE 1500 four-wheel drive crew cab with the all-terrain package shown here in the very nice crimson red tint coat. Under the hood, it's rocking the Ecotech 3 5.3 liter direct injected V8 engine with the six-speed automatic transmission. If you want to test drive this truck, we are located at 240 Bond Street East in Oshawa and we would be very happy to show you that we will do whatever it takes.